Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here with the daughter of Zeus, twin sister of Apollo, and goddess of the wilderness. Of course, you all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Artemis, but she's also the newest module exclusively from Spark Fun. Uh, take a look at that product page just to see how amazing this little chip is, or watch Nathan's explaining video. Now, for starters, we're releasing the Artemis on three separate boards. The Blackboard Artemis with an UNO footprint, the Blackboard Artemis Nano, and the Blackboard Artemis ATP. And because of the amazing speed and power of the Artemis module, your Arduino project will reach heights never before dreamt of on an Arduino board. Oh, let's take a look at the three. First, there's the Blackboard Artemis. Looks like an UNO or a SparkFun breadboard, but look closer. The Blackboard Artemis offers one mega flash with 384K of RAM. It runs at 48 megahertz, that's three times as fast as your current UNO, with burst speeds of 96 megahertz. There's a USB-C connector for easy programming and a quick connector to make I2C work a breeze. The Blackboard Artemis is fully compatible with the Arduino core, but we've exposed the JTAG connector for more advanced users who want to work with higher-end tools. It's got 24 GPIO pins, all interrupt capable. There's 21 PWM channels. It's also got 10 ADC channels with 14-bit precision. That means your analog sensors go from a range of 0 to 1023 to an incredibly precise range of 0 to 16,383. That's some fine precision. You've also got two UARTs, six I2C buses, four SPI buses, PDM interface, I2S interface, and a built-in Bluetooth radio and antenna. And we've added a digital MEMS microphone to allow you to start working with always-on voice commands using TensorFlow and machine learning. There's even a jumper to measure current consumption for low-power testing. Need a smaller footprint? Then you're going to want to grab the Blackboard Artemis Nano. This is our party in the front, business in the back board. All the connectors, buttons, LEDs, and labels are on the front, while all the supporting circuitry is on the back of the board. You'll still get the 1 mega flash and 384K of RAM running at 48 megahertz with the same 96 megahertz boost. It too has a USB-C and a quick connector, broken out JTAG connector, built-in Bluetooth radio and antenna, and a digital MEMS microphone for always-on voice commands with TensorFlow and machine learning. This lightweight little legend also offers 19 GPIO pins, all interrupt capable, 8 ADC channels with 14-bit precision, 17 PWM channels, 2 UARTs, 4 I2C buses, and 2 SPI buses. And being of the Arduino Nano heritage, it uses the new tiny CH340E USB to serial chip. This chip needs no external crystal, and since it's an MSOP10 package, it can fit underneath the USB-C connector. And if you're the type of person who wants it all, well, then you're going to want to get the Artemis ATP, as we call it. ATP? That stands for all the pins! Just like its siblings, you'll get the usual 1 mega flash and 384K of RAM running at 48 megahertz with the same 96 megahertz boost. It too has USB-C and a quick connector, broken out JTAG connector, built-in Bluetooth radio and antenna, and a digital MEMS microphone for the always-on voice commands with TensorFlow and machine learning. Now for the big stats. 48 GPIO pins, 48 all interrupt compatible, 31 PWM channels, 10 ADC channels, 2 channel differential ADC, 2 UARTs, 6 I2C buses, 6 SPI buses, PDM interface, I2S interface, and a secure smart card interface. Uh, these are SparkX products, uh, what we're calling our engineer's version. The module itself is currently under review for FTC certification, and once that comes through, you'll be able to go from prototype through final production with the same amazing chip. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com and start building your way to greatness. Happy hacking, friends. Hi there, Spark fans. Man, I sound rough. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right off the bat. So much for one take. Woke up this morning. <laughs> Which is how all good blues songs start. It's never before dreamt of. Oh, I hate ending with a preposition. Oh, we're already on page two. Crushing. Hey, that was right. I guess I should have kept talking. <laughs>